How's it going? I hope you're well. Today we're going to be talking about the best pants to buy from Abercrombie. Now I think Abercrombie is probably one of the best places to shop just in general, but their pants selection is really, really impressive. So by the end of this video, I'm hoping you have at least one great option to go with, but I think you're going to find yourself having multiple great picks. Now with that said, let's do it. For reference, I'm 5'11", 175 pounds, wear a 31 inch waist, and personally prefer to go with a 30 inch in length. Some people might consider that a little bit too short, but that's what I like. First up, it's the most classic, most timeless piece that you can get from Abercrombie and that's their 90s straight jean. They have such a wide selection when it comes to waist and length options which makes it really nice to shop at. Now personally I find everything there is true to size so I'm a 31 inch waist and I go with a 31 by 30. I prefer my pants to have no break and be a little bit more on the shorter side but that's just my preference. Now it's in the name but what I love so much about this jean is the fact that it's just a nice straight leg fit. Baggy pants are super trendy right now and slim is kind of out and honestly straight is just that happy medium. This denim pant is definitely something that could be worn in pretty much every single occasion. I like to wear them with loafers. I like to wear them with sneakers and pretty much everything in between. Honestly, it's just a really great versatile piece that you should definitely have in your wardrobe. My favorite wash for any jean is light wash. I think it just looks the best, but I also have this brown pair, which looks equally as beautiful. So when I'm trying to change it up or add a little bit of spice into the outfit, I definitely throw these in and I always get compliments on them. Now, if you go to their website, you're going to find their straight jeans as well. And the difference between the 90 straight jeans and the straight jeans is the straight jeans are just a lot more stretchy of a fabric. Towards the 90 straight jeans are more of that classic denim feel and there's really hardly any stretch to them. So I would say the straight jeans are just a bit more comfortable because of that flexibility. So if that's something you really care about, then maybe go that route. Additionally, if you have a bigger booty and some big thighs, then going with the athletic version might be best for you because it's going to allow for more room in the thigh area. Next up on the list has to be their carpenter workwear pants. The carpenter pants are pretty trendy right now, but honestly, I've been really, really loving mine. I think these are just a classic brown color. And last I checked, they either do a light brown or a dark brown. Either looks great, but I think going with any color with these is honestly honestly a cannot miss option. What I really love about these is they're not too baggy. I still find the fit to be very flattering. And like I said, those baggy pants personally are not my style. And I think it's very much a fad, but honestly, that's just my preference. And sometimes baggy fits look way better on other people than I could ever pull off. So they also have a baggy option, which is really nice if you like that. Some things that I really love about this pant are obviously all the different color options that they have if they're in stock. And then they have the utility loop on the side as well as some added pockets for detailing too. Next up is gonna be the easy loose pant. Now this is a far different material than the first two options. I looked it up online and it really just described the fabric as being a lot more stretchy and comfortable, which I can definitely agree with. And I would say it's a little bit more thin than your classic denim material too. The one thing that really stood out to me about these pants and why I've recommended them to so many people is just the fact of how unique of a fit they are. Definitely makes sense that the name is the easy loose pant. I just really love the fit of it. It doesn't hug my legs too tight, nor is it too loose yet again, where I feel out of my comfort zone. And it looks like a regular pant, but honestly feels a lot more soft to the touch. All right, we're going to shake it up here a little bit from what we've recommended so far and actually recommend the essential sweatpants. I cannot tell you how many pairs of these sweatpants I've sold over on IG and TikTok, just recommending them to people. They've been such a hit and I totally understand why they're extremely soft very comfortable and the overall silhouette of them is just extremely flattering so i knew i had to throw them into this video i truly think they are the best pair of sweatpants that you could buy especially given the price and the fact that they're blank which is nice with no logoing is something that i really enjoy having a good pair of sweatpants in the wardrobe is an absolute necessity it's an item that can be dressed up with a top coat and a hoodie which is a really cool look or obviously dressed down just to be comfy while you're at home or like me filming in this video which you can't see right now my personal favorite is the light heather gray i think it's just beautiful cannot be a gray sweatpants. Now on the total opposite end of the spectrum, you have the suiting trouser. Now this is definitely more of a formal piece. It has a small pleat at the top, which I really do like. It's honestly very hardly noticeable, but just a nice little added detail. Definitely a bit of a looser fit with the taper all the way down to the ankle and they have a really nice flowy look to them and the material itself is really soft to the touch. The thing I love about this item is a trouser is naturally supposed to be a bit more dressy, but just like I was talking about with those sweatpants, when you pair a smart look and a casual look, when you put them together in a single fit, overall just makes for a really great aesthetic. And I'd say that's probably one of my best fashion tips overall, just to create really unique looking outfits. I think that's a great way to go. It requires very little effort and it just makes that singular item much more versatile because then you can dress it up or down depending on what you're feeling that day. So anyway, I'm going to throw all of these in the description below. If you guys have any questions, please ask them. I hope you found value here and at least can go buy one great item. If you found this video helpful, throw it a like, maybe subscribe. I do other fashion content, of course. And other than that, I'll see you guys real soon.